Doreen Michael's black and white photographic series from 1973, Things Are Queer, begins with a photograph of a bathroom that is framed by the negative space between bathtub, sink, and toilet. At first, it's these bright white objects that we see, but soon we're drawn into the dark spaces in between as an effect of this negative framing. The next image in the series, taken from a slightly different angle, makes it look as if the sink has migrated closer to the bathtub, and human legs and feet are also introduced into the left frame. With this, and all the objects seemingly crowded on the left side of the image, the right hand side of the image seems to float up visually. Our sense of balance is frustrated, and here we may want to tilt our heads left in order to straighten out the image. In the next photographs, these visual shenanigans continue. Not only do we realize that the bathroom scene is a miniature relative to the gigantic human that we now see hunched over the image, too tall to fit the frame, but we also come to realize that the previous image is a photograph that's being held by a human hand. All we see of the hand is one huge thumb, in comparison to which the first two scenes, previously a whole world, seems tiny. The next image pans out from this scene, revealing that the thumb belongs to that of a man who is reading a book in which the aforementioned image is found. Panning further out still, the man's context emerges. He is reading his book from inside a corridor into which bright light is flooding. Furthermore, he's reading it against the light. Continuing to pan outwards, this last image of the man in the corridor is also a photograph, one that is hanging above the sink in the original bathroom scene. We barely noticed it to begin with, and now we may wonder why it's there. Why is there a photograph hanging above a bathroom sink? Until we realize that this is where an, a mirror would normally hang. Michael's embedded spatial structure is also an embedding one. As soon as we see the human form holding the photograph, we recognize ourselves and our own experience reflected there. We too are viewers outside the photograph, holding up these images before us and looking into them as their embedded structure is revealed. And with this realization, at some level, we too are swallowed into the series.